guys welcome back hope you all are doing well today we are going to solve lab number three from http host header attacks vulnerability module and in today's lab we are gonna see web cache poisoning via ambiguous request so the description of this lab is saying this lab is vulnerable to web cache poisoning due to discrepancies or disagreement in how the cache and the backend application handles ambiguous request and unsuspecting user regularly visits visit the uh, site's home page to solve the lab we need to poison the cache so the home page execute alert in the victim's browser so we already open up the lab here and the burp proxy is already enabled i just need to uh, manage these both windows simultaneously so you can see okay so this is what our home page is and let's just access the home page again and let's see what is the response so now you can see uh, this is the home page right okay so we have here host header session cookie and uh, uh, everything is pretty normal but in the response uh, one thing is interesting which is cache control is being used in the uh, response so this response header cache control that means cache mechanisms is uh, is in place maximum maximum age is 30 seconds that means the cache will uh, only cache or restore a response for only 30 seconds and within 30 seconds anyone else come to get the same uh, come to ask for the same request or send the same request it will provide the response from the cache within 30 seconds after 30 seconds whenever the request come it will again cache the response and whenever anyone else will ask or will request the same endpoint it will provide the response from the cache so every time the request will not go to the backend server now the age is zero that means this is the very first request and uh, zero second is there and x cache header response header have the value miss that means whenever you see the value of x cache response header is equal to miss that means this is the very first response coming directly from the uh, backend server so this response did not came from or uh, did not come from uh, cache fine uh, let's just send this request to the repeater and let's send the request again and within the response if you analyze it okay so if we analyze the request again x cache age is zero and the x cache, uh, age is zero x cache is equal to miss if we send it again you can see this time the age is 17 and x cache value changed to hit that means this response came from the uh, cache not uh, directly from the backend server if i send it again so now because the 30 second has been passed so this is the fresh response coming from the backend not from the cache directly and the x cache response header value is miss now we need to test few things here uh, because we are uh, engaging with the uh, http host header vulnerabilities and attacks uh, due to implementation flaw and all so we need to find out uh, things which is related to host header so what if i change this host header to something else let's say www dot example.com and send the request again now you can see 504 gateway timeout that means uh, the application is validating the host header we cannot change the host header okay that must be uh, genuine domain uh, but what else we can try is uh, let's say i'm going to put here some uh, cache uh, cache buster so a is equal to one so particularly cache buster we are using here so that uh, every time we do not need to wait for 30 seconds if we do not use the cache buster uh, every time we have to wait for 30 seconds to do something new uh, now once we place the cache buster every time we change the value of the cache buster and uh, we will good to go so let's see if i send the request now you can see this is uh, coming directly from the backend server now the cache hit and it will store the response for 30 seconds so if you want to change anything because every time within 30 seconds we will get the response from the cache so we need to wait 
uh, the response uh, has been uh, deleted from the cache so what we will do instead we will change this buster and you can see right now it's hit and it will be stored in the cache from uh, up to 30 seconds so we can just change the buster and we will good to go so this is just for the testing purpose okay and if you see the response you can see there is a script tag which is actually loading one javascript file named as tracking.js and it is also loading this uh, js file from the same domain right what we see in the host header and the application is validating the host header so we cannot change it but what if i can add one more uh, one more host header saying www.example.com any arbitrary domain to just test it and send the request again so once we send you can see the age is zero x cache is missed that means the response is request reach up to the backend server and response is uh, coming from there now the interesting part here if you see the script again you will find out that the source of the script has been changed and it is manipulated uh, because of this second host header what we put here fine so that means this time the application will load this uh, tracking.js file from this domain instead of the genuine domain okay and this is where we can uh, write any malicious javascript adding one more host header okay now we need one uh, attacker controlled domain or attacker controlled web server so that we can basically offer or publish this tracking.js and for this purpose application uh, this uh, lab uh, port swigger gave us exploit server so this exploit server we can consider it our controlled server now what i need to do here is we need to actually publish this file right so we need to add this and then here in the body section we need to let's say write uh, alert document dot cookie okay that's it we just need to store it and once it is stored what we can do is let's send the request again but this time we need to just change this host header and we will place here our exploit server domain so copy that and paste it here that's it uh, just send the request again and we need to make sure that the response is coming from the cache and you can see here the script this time is uh, loaded from our domain okay so now what i can do here is because right now we put the uh, cache buster here so because only we know this exact endpoint with the query string with the cache buster so no one else can uh, get this response because no one else know about this cache buster uh, let's see first of all we change this to four and uh, no one else know about this query string or about this cache buster so whenever anyone come to uh, click on the home page he will basically load the genuine page uh, we want to send the response again and uh, store the malicious response in the cache now if i go and copy the url within 30 seconds and we put it here hit enter we should see the alert okay we should see the alert why because whenever anyone uh, request the same URL with this cache buster and now we already store the response of this uh, request in the cache so he will get the response from the cache now what I can do to solve this lab just remove this cache buster and send the request 
now you can see this time it's missed that means this is from the back end directly send again so that this time it's coming from the uh, cache because it is stored in the cache with the malicious uh, response that contains the script tracking.js which is trying to access this script from our exploit server and now someone else somewhere the victim once he try to access the home page within 30 seconds he will get the malicious response so to just see uh, this exploit i want to just send the request one more time 17 let it pass let it pass 30 seconds 25 27 because now you can see it is loading the script from the genuine source send it again this time it's uh, loading the script from exploit server and now the response is stored in the cache so if now we access the home page it should load the script from the exploit server where we put the alert for the proof of concept and you can see the alert is popped up so the lab is solved and i hope you enjoy the content and you understand the concept behind it what we try to achieve and if you like the content please like subscribe and share i'm gonna see you in the next video bye